So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today, uh, continuing our Master League playthrough, we are into March, March 11th, um, no, it's March 7th, I lied, and we're taking on Brighton and Hove Albion, of course Man United did face them recently in the FA Cup, uh, they did win, you know, once again, not the most convincing performance, but um, they got the job done, they're into the semi-finals, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see who they face, um, if they face Tottenham... Could be a tough game for them. Uh, Chelsea, if they get through, uh, also could be a, a tough game. So uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, today we are taking on Brighton. Uh, probably this is the lineup we're going to go for. Up to an 86 on the team spirit. We're going to go for it. We've got to win. Uh, a lot of players up for today's game as well. We're going to bring in Lindelof and Shaw on the left-hand side today to replace Hernandez uh, and Smalling. Uh, we're going to go Matic, Pogba, Sanchez... Uh, Rashford, Martial with Lukaku. I think that should be good enough today, especially with that team spirit, to pick up those three points. So we're going to go for really what we've been playing for the last couple of games, which has worked out. I mean, we got a draw in the last game against City. It was a tough game, um, but I would take that night and day because they're not an easy team to beat. Uh, we'll do a bit of tight marking here on Murray. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave you at that. If I need to change any of these, I will. But uh, I think, yeah, that, that should be good enough. So we're going to dive right into it. No messing about. Um, one good thing is uh, Matic, his training, that's the wrong one. Uh, his training should be done in two days' time. So once that's complete, you'll have the captaincy skill. And uh, that will help our fatigue a little bit more in the games that are coming up, which is nice. Although I really don't know how much, you know, fatigue plays a role in Pez, to be honest. Uh, it's never been a huge, huge factor. But anyway, we're away from home, taking on Brighton. Let's dive right into this one. So conditions are wet, to sum it up. It's Brighton, it's Manchester United. And United are trying to keep that fourth place. I believe Tottenham now are on the same points as them. So if they slip up today, they may drop down to fifth position. Valencia might as well bring it forward if you got the space and time. Alexis. Oh, Lukaku. Matic initially made the run and then he stopped in his tracks. Had it back inside. Flicked over. This time Lindelof gets there. Matic. Good, good ability to keep the ball. Pompa skips past one and then two. Now it's Lukaku. Over to find Rashford. Delivers that one in. Lukaku back to find Matic. A really good effort. And a brilliant save down to his left-hand side. 56% possession for the away side. Who started off lively. Lukaku. Oh, here's Rashford. Through on goal. Surely it's 1-0. And yes, it is. Marcus Rashford keeps on scoring. And it was just a decisive run set up by the Belgium. Right here, once he made the run, he's got the pace, he's in behind him, he's onside. One touch, and calmly slots it home. Well, it's going to be Alexis Sanchez, it came off the top of the wall. But it has come back out to Valencia. And he fizzes it wide. Wasn't far away. Brighton had to try and close him down as quick as possible. Alexis, one way and then the other. Valencia. That's United's turn to keep the ball. Pereira, Rashford, Lukaku, Rashford again. Who's flying in? Bahi, who's certainly made a difference since he's come back. A huge difference, to be honest. Pellegrini. One thing, though, that is important now is goal difference. What with teams so tight at the top. Oh, wait a minute. There's an absolutely massive hole. And David De has done well. There was straight at him. Murray will be very disappointed that he hasn't at least hit the side of the goal. But right here, there was a massive, massive hole through the middle. David De Gea just did enough. Now Martial is going to be replaced by Juan Mata. It's 
22 minutes to play United lead narrowly by a goal to nil thanks to Marcus Rashford in the first half Alexis Romelu Lukaku back towards Alexis Sanchez just can't quite get through Valencia with a good turn Mata his first couple of touches does well delivers it in it's not a bad looking ball Come back out to Herrera and uh, sting in the palms of the keeper. Lukaku did enough. Four minutes on the clock. United don't want to do anything silly at this point. Marcus Rashford. Luke Shaw. That's just wasting some time. And he's done well. And he delivers it in. Lukaku's there and he should have scored. What a chance to seal it up. And he was just sort of leaning back, trying to direct it down into the bottom corner, and he's not far away. And there is the full-time whistle, so United scrape it by one goal to know. It wasn't pretty, but they got the job done, and they'll take that bit of momentum into uh, the Europa League. So there we have it. Brian only having the one chance. One shot to eight. Man of the match today was uh, Rashford. So the other results. Arsenal lost to Manchester City. Arsenal on a bit of a downward spiral at the moment. Burnley drew against Newcastle. Chelsea beat Southampton. Crystal Palace beat Stoke. Everton beat Swansea. Tottenham won as well. Luckily only 1-0. Uh, Leicester beat Watford. And Liverpool winning with West Ham United. So it's unchanged in the top six. Uh, we close the gap on Arsenal to nine points now. Liverpool now have a four-point lead at the top of the table. But look how tight it is between us and Tottenham Hotspur. OK, so Matic uh, nicely has acquired the uh, captaincy. So there we go. Let's have a look at some other sort of skill things we can do. So into the round of 16. First leg away against Olympiacos. Question is, do we go for it in this first match? Do we play a little bit sort of tentative um, but really playing away, I I need a goal, don't I, to be honest. I need that away advantage, so we probably will. So let's have a look what we can do here uh, and see what I think will be a good idea. All right, so one thing I actually would like to do is fighting spirit. I think that could go quite nicely with uh, Paul Pogba. 45 days, it will enable the players to perform better under pressure and fatigue as well as adversity so i don't know i think that could be good to have especially with the big games that we play so yeah why not give that a go and pop is generally going to play most games so um yeah there we go we'll get that sorted lovely jubbly so let's have a look at the lineup for today's match against olympiakos and uh i'll be right back Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go for this. Unfortunately, um, you know, once again, Alexi Sanchez down on red. I don't understand Pez's form. I really don't understand it. I'm pretty sure he was on green in the last game. And within the space of three days, he's gone to red. I don't know, Kalam. You've got to fix those, mate. You've got to fix those for next year. Anyway, uh, we're going to give Matic the captaincy today. You know, he's, he's trained. He's worked well. I think it's rightly so to do to do that so yeah we're going to give him that and he's playing well as well to be fair we're going to have Pogba and Mata in the middle uh, Rashford Marcial Lukaku I mean it's working pretty well up top we're going to bring in Rojo today I wasn't that convinced with Lindelof's performance in the last game so I'm going to go for Marcus Rojo um, he has got the build up trait and that's what he's he's good at but he's got build up as well bit of build up there bit of build up so yeah, I think that's pretty good. Hernandez is still down with Smalling, so I'm not going to worry too much about those. Uh, what should we go for this uh, advanced tactic-wise? Could do some sort of tight marking again. Uh, I'm not going to tight mark him, but just do deep defensive line to start with and just leave it with centering targets. Cause, you know, sometimes I change these too much. Got too many things going on. It, it doesn't work out too well. So we'll start with that. We'll see what we do. Um, Olympiacos, no team, you know, to take lightly, as we know. So, fingers crossed. Going to make this game a little bit longer. I made the one shorter in the last match. We'll put this to 11 minutes. I don't want to make them too long, but we've got to have a couple of chances at least. So, here we go. Europa League, round of 16, first leg. Let's do it. 
So the Europa League action continues as Olympiacos take on Manchester United in a big game. Round of 16, the first leg. Can Luigi's side get that away advantage? Well, in 90 minutes, we will find out. Matic, who's been training hard lately. Marcus Rojo in the lineup. That's been a while since you've seen him. Luke Shaw goes tumbling to the ground. He made an absolute meal of that. 10 out of 10, but the performance. Gansala says, uh, well, ref, have another look at it because he did make a meal of it. And right here, as soon as he felt that, oh, down he goes. Luke Shaw plays it short. Marcus Rashford. Well, he's not made his man. He didn't mean it, but he'll take it. And how's the delivery? He's gone for the Rabona. That is not going to get there. Martial's on the volley. And there's the first chance. And it was a big one. Rojo swinging it out wide. Antonio Valencia gets it down. Lays it up the line to Martial. It's a fantastic turn. Lukaku. Luke Shaw. Matter. Lukaku, Popa, Lukaku, it's absolutely brilliant and it's another brilliant stop. Gibson goes. But he got half a foot onto it. Back again. Olympiacos have really got to try and whip this in before they lose it. And they've done so and it's dangerous. And that is another big chance this time for Olympiacos back post free header. And Luke Shaw just got the wrong side of him. It's a great delivery. Unlucky. Mata. Just keeping the ball well here. Matic. Lukaku. Marcus Rashford. Just trying to get it on that left foot. Oh, great turn. Still going. Oh, tipped away. Oh, what an effort. They need to keep the pressure up, United. Really want that away goal. That's a, a big incentive for them. That's not a great ball there. Given away carelessly. Martial, nice turn. Matic. Pogba. Back towards Nemanja Matic. And it was an absolute gift by the defender. And Nemanja Matic, who really has been playing exceptionally well over the last month or so it's given United a massive goal and he started it right here when he got it back from Martial off he went outside of the boot by Pogba but his touch he just got it all wrong all all wrong and it was basically gifted on a plate you can see the defender here just tries to chest it but it almost comes off his shoulder and the Serbian does the rest and it means Olympiacos will make a change, Emeniki. So half an hour left. Manchester United have the upper hand. In this decisive game here, round of 16, Europa League. Still a lot of good teams in this competition. And here is Emeniki, who's just come on. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> what a let off. Milik will take the throw. Valencia fell on his backside. Need to deliver it in here, Olympiacos. They do so. It's a lovely ball. What a save by David De Gea. Unbelievable stuff. Well, that could mean so many things. The ball's whipped in again. It's another header. And this time De Gea with a simple catch. But wow. If Olympiacos get themselves back in this, then... Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a big, big, big clearance by the defender. Rojo's got caught. Back up the line again. Nice bit of trickery. A lovely ball. Oh, and here's a chance. And David De Gea yet again. What a save. Well, Alexi Sanchez has come on for Mata. And Lindelof's come on for Martial. Oh. Woohoo! What about that? Another chance goes begging. A free header, and he really should have done better. Very close to conceding. David De Gea has been unbelievable at times. And Alexi Sanchez has come on to, to 
to try and do something and here's a chance for him what will he do cuts back onto his right foot but he couldn't bend it in the far corner Luke Shaw needs to get back Abdelouye he's got a bit of speed he's got the wrong side of his man oh David De Gea again he's having the game of his life Olympiacos make a change United defending in numbers deliver it in back post the problems have all been today from pretty much the uh, long balls and crosses when you look at the goal that Olympiacos gave away they'll be thoroughly thoroughly disappointed with themselves well played Bahi now United will waste a bit of time the referee has a look at the watch and there it is the full time whistle somehow United have come away with a win and it's because of that man there what a performance from David De Gea so there we have it eight shots to five De Gea unbelievable I mean this this shows you how realistic this game is sometimes because that was him in a nutshell a man of the match performance no question and he did make I mean he had yeah five shots against him does it tell you the saves he made? Five saves. I mean, he made five massive saves. Their keeper made three. But, uh, yeah, unbelievable. So, the other results in the round of 16. Inter losing to Juventus. Bordeaux beat Liverpool. That's a big win there. Everton drew against Villarreal. Arsenal drew against Schalke. Bayern Munich winning. Uh, Athletic Bilbao did beat Garnatova. Uh, and Leipzig, or Leipzig. I don't know how you pronounce that one. Is it, is it Leipzig? Uh, beating uh, or sorry losing to Feyenoord so there we have it ladies and gentlemen we're going to be back with another big game these games continue to keep coming the big ones at least as we take on Chelsea and uh, they're lying in third we win that match we're going to cut that gap, that gap down to four points um, and with how many games to go not quite sure but uh, either way Let's have a look here. Well, that's the other matches playing. But, yeah, we've got Chelsea. Yeah, we've got about eight games left. So we've got Chelsea in the Premier League. Everton. Um, there's Liverpool in the semi-final of the FA Cup. That's a big game. We've got Leicester to come. West Ham. Watford. Swansea. Uh, Southampton. And Bournemouth. So, to be honest with you, we have some pretty decent games. We're not playing anyone too too extreme now in the league we faced all the big sides apart from Chelsea I think that's going to be the main one so a good run of games could get us in the top three uh, we'll have to see what happens and I hope you guys enjoyed it thank the hair what a performance but until next time take care